Hey ladies, so I'm not even going to try to start this vlog um, with any excuses or anything. I'm just going to say um, I'm back and I'm happy to be back and um, I hope that you guys are happy to see me. Um, as you will see in my lovely surroundings, I am not in the, um, the same house as I was when I was vlogging last year. We moved to a new place, a much um, better place in my opinion than where we were before. Um, there's a whole long story I'll go into about that. Um, but yes, we are in our new place now and I am very, very happy to be here. Um, I am in a very empty room. I'm basically sitting in um, my office or the future nursery. No, I'm not pregnant, but this is the room that if I do get pregnant will be the nursery um, that the baby will be in. Um, right now it is cream and orange because these are the two colors that I chose because orange is one of my favorite colors. And um, that's pretty much it. I'm sitting in a cream and orange room, and my husband and I have affectionately been calling it the creamsicle room. Um, basically, my desk is in here, and the cat's litter box, and um, a closet full of crap that we need to sort through, and essentially that is it for right now. Um, we are in the process of decorating this room, and since we are not... Um, I don't want to say we're not actively trying to conceive, but since um, we're not, it's not on our radar, it's not something we're actively pursuing, um, we're not taking medications, we're trying to let things happen naturally. Um, I probably honestly will not have um, a lot of TTC updates as far as, you know, any action that may or may not be happening. Um, that sounds awkward. But anyway, <laughs> um, so I will probably be doing a lot of other types of vlogs like um, showing you how we're going to be decorating my office slash uh, prayer room slash future nursery slash whatever you want to call it as well as the rest of the house um, because to be honest our other house um, wasn't that nice and I really it wasn't something I really felt like you guys would want to see but this one's really cute and um, we're really happy to be here and we're hoping that this is going to be our forever home I guess you would call it. I want to do some cooking vlogs. Um, that sort of thing. But anyway, how is everybody doing? I feel like it's been forever since I've done a vlog and probably because it has. I think it's been like, I went back you guys and looked at my past videos. I think it's been like seven or eight months since my last vlog and um, I don't have anything to say except I'm sorry um, that I've gone MIA. I've been trying to keep in touch with you guys over um, the other Facebook but I haven't been on there that much either and I don't have any excuses. <laughs> um, I don't need any excuses I guess. It's just that um, I found for me um, not only did it help to take a break from trying to conceive but not surrounding myself 24-7 um, with pregnancy updates and no offense to you ladies I pray for you every single day that you all get your BFP and I'm like overjoyed for those of you that did I'm thinking of Leanna and Kelsey and the list goes on and on and on um, but I am so happy for each and every one of you that got your BFP or you're holding your baby right now um, I I'm overjoyed and over the moon for you but for me personally um, taking a step back and sort of just trying to be present in um, my life as it is right now and appreciate what I do have instead of focusing on what I don't have. That's what I needed to do and so um, it has been a very rough seven to eight months, I'm not going to lie. Um, we have had our fair share of struggles both in our marriage and in um, just life in general with things just happening one thing after another after another and with school and um, with me working more and all kinds of things um, but the break has done wonderful things for me um, emotionally and spiritually especially um, because I found that once I took the focus off of um, asking God all the time to bless us with a baby to just thanking God for what he had already blessed us with um, a lot of my anger and bitterness and frustration at myself and at God and at other people um, had gone away and I feel like I'm in a much healthier and happier place now and I really um, I think that taking a break from not only um, making vlogs but also just you know actively checking um, every day if I was ovulating or all that sort of thing that that's what I needed to do for me and I'm sorry um, if I 
hurt anybody's feelings or left anybody hanging. Um, that's all I'm going to say. And I'm, I'm hoping that um, the fact that I am being honest means something. Um, but I do plan on vlogging um, on a regular basis now. I know I have said that in the past repeatedly. Um, this time, I really, really do plan on making vlogs on a regular basis. I have a much um, happier and um, more clear space in order to vlog. Um, as well as a better camera and a lot more time. I'm off of school actually now until the end of May, I believe, or the middle of May. Um, so I have nothing but time um, to make vlogs and to um, reconnect with you ladies and to hopefully make some new friends. And um, I also plan to start another channel um, so I can vlog more specifically um, about my faith and about the struggles that we've been going through in terms of more of a um, faith perspective because I don't want to push my religious beliefs on anyone. So I would rather make a second channel um, to explore that aspect of my life and when I do create that second channel and start making videos, um, just so any of my subscribers who want to come over and check out those vlogs, I will leave a link for you. Um, but I don't want to sort of infringe on this channel and the followers here and make you feel like you have to watch videos or that that's all I'm ever going to upload or things about um, the Bible or things about church or um, becoming a pastor or anything like that. I don't want to put that on you guys and that be the only things that you get to see. So that's going to be a separate channel and I'll let you know um, when that happens. Um, I am going to go and get um, the newest addition to our household, my little um, puppy who I've been promising you guys I would introduce you to forever now. So I will be right back. I'm going to go get him right now. Sorry guys. So this little guy is Miyagi. Well, Mr. Miyagi to be exact. Um, that is what we named him. Say hi. Say hi. Oh, yes, hello. He is um, the sweetest little puppy ever and he is just a joy and he's super lovable and yes, he's licking my makeup off. Um, he is 11 weeks. We got him when he was 8 weeks. Um, sorry it took me so long to get this video up. I wanted you guys to see him when he was super, super tiny. He's still really tiny. He looks a lot bigger here than he did before. Can you say hi? Can you say, oh, yes, hello. Okay, Miyagi is going to go back with Daddy. Um, they were chilling out on the couch watching some YouTube videos. I will be right back again. I'm going to go bring him back. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Say bye. Give kisses to the camera. Oh, you a good boy. Okay. Sorry, you guys. He is really, really hyper tonight. Um, he is not in the mood for being held. He is in play mode. He was playing tug of war with daddy, and he just wants to hang out with him. So that is where I just put him. Put him back with daddy, and they're going to continue their little uh, male bonding time or whatever. Puppy has been keeping me super, super busy all the time. Um, potty training a puppy is never easy. Um, training him to do different tricks has been interesting. He's super, super smart. Um, so enough about the puppy. You will be seeing him in several um, future vlogs. Um, he is a mama's boy through and through, and he likes to be at my side at all times. So it will be difficult to do a vlog without him. <laughs> trying to think of a couple other things that have been going on since the last time I vlogged. You guys, it's been so long. It feels like, oh, wow. Um, I'm still focusing on the weight loss thing. Um, I have lost, let's see, it's not impressive. It's not impressive at all. Since I started, since I last vlogged, I think I've lost between six and seven pounds. Not that impressive. So it's like a pound a month. That's kind of ridiculous. But um, really, if I'm being completely honest, we've only just gotten back into the healthy eating thing um, the beginning of January. So um, really, the weight loss has mostly come in the last three weeks or so. Um, so that's kind of where a lot of my focus has been also in just cooking healthier meals and... Um, spending more time focusing on things like that. Exercise has definitely been difficult. Um, the Wii Fit doesn't work so well when you have a puppy that's trying to attack your feet all the time. I am interested in hearing um, your guys' feedback. Your guys', that is not a word. 
the feedback that you guys might provide with me um, about what you'd like me to be vlogging about in the future, anything that you might want to see. Because honestly, um, taking the TTC thing, it's like I said, I'm going to be doing TTC vlogs, but they're not going to be, I'm not going to be making them every week and saying I'm on cycle day so-and-so and I'm in the two-week wait because my cycles usually last about 90 days. Um, so I, and I hardly ever know when I'm in the two-week wait. Um, so I need you to give me some ideas for vlogs that you'd like to see um, that don't pertain to TTC. Um, on the TTC front, I guess, um, I found a new gynecologist. Um, she is a, it's a female, and my other doctor was a male. And I think I'm going to be much happier having a female doctor. I haven't actually seen her yet, but she is the most um, preferred doctor in the practice that I go to. She books out months in advance, which is why I haven't seen her yet. Um, I think my appointment with her is in like three weeks or something like that. So um, she will probably do like a redraw of a lot of blood work and things like that. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, let's see. Oh, I found out I was vitamin D deficient. So I've been taking um, vitamin D one a week for six weeks and it's 50,000 units, I guess. I'm interested to see and we'll probably update you guys on how the vitamin D affects um, that whole thing. If it does anything to enhance fertility or um, anything at all, um, I'll let you know about the effects that it has on me. But other than that, you guys, this is that's pretty much it. Um, before I forget, though, I wanted to say um, congratulations to Leanna. Um, Hazel is absolutely gorgeous. She's beautiful. Um, and also congratulations to Brittany and your little Tatum. Um, he is super cute. I saw the picture on Facebook. And um, I don't know because I haven't logged into my other Facebook if Sierra has had her little Charlotte yet but I have been saying prayers for you as well and I'm thinking of Brandy and if I don't mention your name all of you ladies know who you are um I have been keeping you seriously I really really do pray for you on a regular basis whenever you pop into my head I say a prayer for you um I again am really sorry that I have been gone for so long but I do hope that me telling you that it has helped me um will will mean something to you and help you to know um, that I had the best of intentions and I am back and I am really excited um, to continue vlogging. My goal in 2012 is to vlog way more um, and to just document life in general more, take more pictures, that sort of thing, because in 2011 I don't think we really took any pictures and I hardly did any vlogs. So um, that being said, I think I am just going to close for now. and. Please leave me comments um, down below what you'd like to see me do a vlog on and I will um, read them all and definitely take them into consideration um, and I will be doing a vlog again very very soon. And I just wanted to let you guys know that we're, we're okay and we're doing well and um, we're happy with the puppy and in our new house and I will be doing a house tour soon and all that. So I will talk to you next time.